guys. My name is Coach Lerma. I'm Coach Grant. And today we're going to go over the basics and an anatomy of a football. Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Dan Marino, Cam Newton, Jerry Rice, Michael Irvin, Michael Thomas. What do all these guys have in common? They all started with the basics. They didn't just come out of the room being Hall of Famers, you know. They had to start somewhere, and they started with the basics, and they worked their way up. They worked on the basics every day to become where they're at this point. So, for the anatomy of the football, we're going to go over some basics over it, and it's not too much whatsoever. The ends of the football, these are called the nose of the football. These white lines, literally just called lines. These guys right here, these are the laces. So remember, nose, lines, laces. That's anatomy of a football. So, for the basics of throwing the football, we're going to start with your grip. And when your grip, imagine you're holding a cell phone. You don't want to squeeze it too tight because then what happens? Cell phone breaks. So, what you want to do, you want to get your index finger, and depending on the size of your hand, it's either going to be the front, the back, or the middle. For mine, my hands are a little bigger for this football, so mine's going to be in the back. Your middle finger is going to be on the very first lace. Your ring finger should go in the third hole right here. So one, two, three, that's where that goes. Your pinky will go either on the third to last lace or the second to last hole. But again, you play with it to the size of your hand. So it should look like this. And when you look at it, there should be a nice little pocket right there. When you have that pocket, that's when you know you have a good grip. Alright, so now since we have the basics of throwing a football, we also have to learn how to catch a football. Because if you're throwing football, we have to learn how to be able to catch it and be able to run with it after. So, first step, you don't need a football in your hand, you need your hands. Um, two ways we can catch a football. We can catch a football above our waist or below our waist. So, if the ball is being thrown above our waist, you want to take your hands out, put them out in front of you about shoulder width. You want to bring your index finger and your thumbs and bring them together and make kind of like a diamond or a triangle. Once you do that, gentlemen, that you can either move your hands however way you want and catch the ball. This is how we catch a football when the ball is thrown above our waist. When the ball is thrown below our waist, we flip our hands over and have our palms facing out towards whoever is throwing us the ball. And then we take our pinkies and bring our pinkies together. Okay, so Coach Lerma is going to throw me a ball. He's going to throw me one up at my chest and one below my waist. And we're going to figure out how to see it. The ball come out. ball came. Over and if you see how I caught it, I made sure that the nose end of the football went in between where my diamond was. Okay, so here goes Coach Lerma. He's gonna throw one below my waist now. And if you see below my waist, my two pinkies are still together. So we always have to make sure anytime we're catching the football, whether it's above our waist, we make our diamond, or it's below our waist, our pinkies are always together. So a fun game that you can play. With your, if you have a little sister, little brother, someone at home, your parents, fun game you can play is you're about five, six, seven yards apart, gentlemen. And all you do is you're just going to be throwing it back and forth with your partner. Okay? But there's going to be a point system, you know. Try to, uh, if you throw it at their chest, it's worth three points. If you throw it at either right or your left shoulder, it's two points. And if you throw it at their head, it's one point. And you can just play it like quick mini game, first to ten, first to five. Um, first 15, however, however far you want to go, gentlemen. Um, it's as simple as that. You're still going to use your mechanics, step and throw, and your partner right back will learn how to catch. So this gives you the opportunity to work on both catching and throwing. Now, if you are by yourself, that's okay. You still, can have, you still have a drill. What you can do is in your bedroom, your living room, anything, you can go ahead and lay down on your floor. You can go ahead and lay down. We're still going to grip a ball how we normally would. And you're just going to sit here. And you're just going to flick the ball up and down. And you want to flick the ball. You want to flick the ball to where it lands. And you want to try to let it aim at your forehead. That way you can flick the ball up. And you also are still using your hands how to catch, gentlemen. I'm Coach Lerma. Coach Grant. And these are the basics of throwing, catching, and then not even football. Thank you, Deerfoot, for tuning in, and stay tuned later this week for more videos. Thank you, and stay safe.